A characteristic of something just means a property or how it behaves. So current voltage characteristic of a component just means how does the current and the voltage or PD um, vary for individual components. Now you need to know the circuit diagram. It looks a bit like this. You need an ammeter, you need a voltmeter, and you need what's called a variable resistor. So an ammeter measures a current, a voltmeter uh, measures the potential difference or voltage, same thing. And the variable resistor is the thing I guarantee you'll forget, um, which changes the resistance and therefore changes the current in the circuit. We'll come on to a bit later why that's so important. Now the components you could be asked to talk about, um, there are three of them, okay? Um, so you could be asked to talk about a fixed resistor, that's the rectangle with a box, uh, sorry, the, the rectangle, that's a fixed resistor. Um, the circle with a cross in it you could be asked about is a filament bulb or lamp. And the third one is a diode or could be a light emitting diode. It would be the same thing in this context. So the method is the same for all three. Um, let's have a look at uh, what we could be asked to write down. So first things first is we're going to talk about the, the experiment and we're going to talk about the circuit we've got. So we're going to measure the current using the ammeter and measure the PD using the voltmeter. That should be nice easy marks straight up. Next, what we're going to do is this is where the um, variable resistor comes in. Okay, so we're going to use the variable uh, resistor to change the resistance. Now, the reason why we want to do this is because we want to get a range of values for current and PD. So we'll come on to the, what the graphs we could be in a second, but the reason is we want a range of values. So then the ammeter and, P and voltmeter readings will change. So we're going to record the new values of current and PD using the ammeter and the voltmeter. Now, we should have a range of values, so we're going to repeat that last step or two to make sure that we are going to have um, a few different values. And the last step is the most important step. Again, one that you want to make sure you don't miss out because you can't get full marks without it. We are then going to reverse the connections on the cell. So flip over the positive to negative, negative to positive to obtain negative values for the current and PD. Okay, so it's important we know in the negative direction what the current and PD are. Now the reason for that um, is because the graph you're going to be asked to plot for these experiments is a little bit different. You know, it's how this is different to a normal scientific graph. Um, instead of just having um, kind of the X and Y axis going from the origin, it has them flowing in the positive and the negative direction. So you do need to know what these graphs uh, look like, not just for this practical, but generally. Now a fixed resistor, um, the graph of PD and current, is a straight line that goes straight through the origin. So that special name called for that is directly proportional, straight line through the origin. So what that means is, um, if you're just given the results, as one variable, i.e. the PD, doubles, the other variable, the current, also doubles straight through the origin. Um, this is what's known as Ohm's law, is that voltage is proportional to uh, current. Now, for the filament bulb, um, it is not directly proportional. It curves off a bit at each end. Notice it doesn't curve downwards the current. Um, it looks like this. The reason for this is because as uh, for a bulb, the temperature increases, so resistance increases. So all that means is the current will stop increasing at a certain point. Now, the reason uh, that the resistance increases with increasing temperature is that when uh, ions are hotter, there are more collisions between electrons and ions. Therefore, more collisions means resistance goes up and current stops increasing. Now the last one, um, if you put a diode in, in there, is that current only flows in one direction. In the negative direction, there is zero current. In the positive direction, there is a current that increases. Now that's because in one direction, it's a low resistance. In the other direction, it's a very high resistance. So um, there's not that many errors uh, or safety issues with this practical, but you could mention about disconnecting between readings um, to stop the wires getting uh, hot. So if the wires got too hot in this case, um, or the voltage was too high, it means there's any, some extra resistance, which you don't want. Um, electrical safety, this applies for all electrical practicals, really. Um, please don't say, uh, I don't know, don't get electrocuted, things like that. That's not going to get you marks. Uh, you'd say things like don't use um, frayed or broken wires or report them to your teacher. Uh, and maybe don't use uh, water near your experiment, um, things like that. So that would apply for all electrical practicals.